Okay guys, you have waited incredibly patiently for these and these are my predictions for the 2017 Edexcel P3 exam. So please remember I am not an examiner, I do not know exactly what's going to be on the exam, I do not have any insider secrets. These are just educated guesses from looking at the exam papers, looking at the specification, looking at the examiner's reports. So please remember to revise absolutely everything. What we do know about P3 and any physics exam that you're going to be doing is that there is going to be a massive, massive chunk of maths in there. If you want to be accessing those top grades, just like P2, we need to be rearranging equations, we need to be converting non-standard units. Now you have to watch out for your non-standard units because sometimes um, something in killer, whatever, as opposed to your normal standard non-killer unit, just that teeny tiny little K in there and you can miss it. And if you miss it, you're putting the wrong numbers into your equation, putting the wrong numbers into your equation, you're gonna come up with the wrong answer. So please, please, please take things carefully, take things slowly, but not too slowly, because we don't wanna run out of time. Slowly, carefully, and read the questions properly, especially in P3. They're gonna be cramming a lot of information in there and is not necessarily going to be clearly laid out. Um, so they're gonna put a lot of, I don't wanna say hidden information in there because that makes the examiner sound mean, um, but they're gonna put a lot of important information in there that may not necessarily be obvious upon initial reading that that's the important information you need for the question. So I think this year's paper is gonna start um, with the medical physics, so x-rays, CT scans, stuff like that, how it works, the advantages, the disadvantages, the differences between all the medical imaging and the techniques, and then we need to be thinking, again, kind of on the medical physics side of things, but about the eye. This is a big section, and honestly, one of my least favourite bits to teach. Doing an eye dissection is, like, properly disgusting. I hate it. That's one of the reasons I don't teach biology, because I don't have to dissect things. But I think that I could be big on this year's exam. So, um, correcting vision and ray diagrams. I love ray diagrams. Um, they can seem scary, but they're worth a lot of marks if they come up. And if you just learn the rules for applying, uh, applying the rules to ray diagrams, you shouldn't have any problems with the ones that come up. So we know Edexcel likes to have two big six markers in the exam paper. I think this year one of them is going to be a big maths question. Um, so complicated maths question, combining equations, linking different parts together. I'm going to assume it's going to have rearranging equations and non-standard units in there. Um, it might not look like a maths question initially, it might look like a really, really wordy question, but don't forget your formula sheet can actually help you out with some of the wordy questions as well. The second six marker, we could have um, radioactivity or we could have, I love them, so I'm slightly biased here, ray diagrams again. But please, please, please remember to learn everything. We do not want to risk you missing out on those top grades just because you didn't learn something because I didn't mention it in the video. Please, please, please learn everything um good luck guys we are we are nearly nearly at the end you're working really really hard i'm really proud of you